everyone my name is vikas and in this session we will talk about merkle patricia tree in ethereum so if you have heard about blockchain and uh, if you have heard about ethereum the very first question comes to your mind how the information is being stored in a ethereum blockchain so as we already covered in the last few videos blockchain is nothing it is a chain of blocks and every block uh, store the transaction details and we already covered uh, one in one video that uh, how blocks look like in a Bitcoin blo blockchain where we have talked about that okay in a one block you can see one block header and under block header you will see multiple elements then transaction is being stored in form of Merkle tree in a Bitcoin blockchain so in case you haven't gone through that videos I would recommend you to go through that video that will, will uh, that will be helpful uh, to you before you come to this session. So now we already covered about Bitcoin but now we are talking about Ethereum. So the question comes at how the information is being stored in Ethereum. Are we using the same Merkle tree in Ethereum or we have something else, uh, something different in Ethereum. So yes. Uh, so we are not using as such the same concept which we have in a Bitcoin. There is something different we have in a Ethereum. So there is an improved version of uh, Merkle tree in Ethereum which is being used. So we will cover that in this session. So before you really jump to this session, so my recommendation is that you should go through our two sessions, the previous session, where we have talked about the Merkle tree concept and the second concept is Patricia tree. So, because if you don't know the basics here, you will not be able to understand this uh, topic or this uh, video. So, really go to this blog, uh, this link here, which you can just see. And you can click on these two links here, which we have added in this blog, where you can just go and uh, learn about, first of all, these two trees. So, uh, if you are going through this session, I assume that you already gone through these two sessions before you understand that what is Merkle tree and what, what is... Uh, Patricia tree all about. So now the question comes at why we have this Merkle Patricia tree. So as the name suggests, so this is a combination of two trees. This is a combination of Merkle and Patricia tree. So as we already covered in the last two videos, Merkle tree is used to maintain data integrity so that if anyone changes any information, you will come to know instantly that something has been changed. That is for that. The, this is the purpose of Merkle tree, and Patricia tree enable the fast searching. So you will store the information in form of in a tree in such a way that you will be able to search the information very quickly, and the information is being stored in form of key and value pair, right? So that is the basic concept which we have covered. So Merkle Patricia tree is a combination of two tree in the Ethereum. So Ethereum don't use Merkle tree as such. It don't use Patricia tree as such. It combines these two trees together. It uses the functionality of both the trees. And the combined tree is known as Merkle Patricia tree that is being used in Ethereum. So we'll cover that tree here. We'll try to explain you each and everything about that tree. And we have an example to show you also in this blog and in this video which we'll cover here. So we already covered that what is Merkle Patricia tree. This is a combination of two trees. So secondly that why we need this one right so question comes that why we need to have a Merkle Patricia tree so because we want uh, in the Ethereum blockchain what we have we have requirement to store the key value pair when we talk about key value pair like the example if you can take what we do in Ethereum we store the account address which is act as a key and then the account balances and many more functions so a account can have different values it can have a uh, uh, balance it can transfer some amount to other other account like it can have multiple values right so this is how the information is being stored in a ethereum blockchain this is stored in a key value pair and that tree known as a state tree in ethereum so when we talk about the storage of key value pair and we want to maintain data integrity and we want to have fast searching so we, this is the reason we are combining these two trees together merkle and patricia tree right so this is the reason this T is required in an Ethereum blockchain. Now when we talk about Patricia, uh, Merkle Patricia tree, so there are two type, uh, there are four type of nodes which we have it here. So this diagram explains it very well. If you just see here, so uh, there are four type of nodes. One is empty node, then branch nodes, then we have leaf nodes and extension nodes. 
So as you can see here, the leaf node, which is marked in green, if you can, if you think about a tree, the leaf node will be the end node. It will be the end of the tree, right? So leaf will contain in Ethereum uh, tree, it will contain the key and value pair. It will con it will have your actual value basically, right? So leaf nodes will not have father child. So that node which don't have father child, it can it contain the actual value along with your key that is known as a leaf node. So as you can see here, there are four leaf node in this example. Now second question comes as branch node. So branch node, any node which has more than one branch is known as a branch node. As you can see here, the second branch node has three branches, two leaf node, one extension node, right? So that is a branch node. Now there is a one more concept is extension node. So extension node is nothing. This is a branch node only which has only one child element. So what we used to have, we used to have multiple branch nodes which has only one child element, right? So what they have done, they have compressed that branch node with one child to extension node. So extension node is nothing. This is a, only a branch node which has only one child node, right? So that node is known as the extension node. Now, the question comes at, so this is the four nodes which we have. This diagram explains it very well. Now question comes that leaf node will also have a key value pair. Extension node will also have one child and it will have a key value pair. Now how we will differentiate between this extension node and leaf node in Ethereum blockchain. So there is a concept of nibble. You have a nibble uh, which we have explained in this block here. So this nibble will help you to identify that this node is an extension node or the leaf node. Okay, because both these nodes has some key value pair or a child node which because by seeing that you will not be able to easily re recognize this is a leaf node or extension node so nibble will help us here uh, to identify that uh, about leaf or extension node now this is all the basic concept which you should understand now this diagram so this is uh, taken from one url which i have just mentioned down below here i stack so this diagram explained it very well okay let, let me just explain this diagram from the starting itself. So what requirement we have, so this is the key value pair which we want to store in a Ethereum uh, blockchain. So this is my keys A711355, A770337. So this is a table if you can just see here. So this is the keys which we have and corresponding to each key, I have a value. So assume that this is my account address, A711333355 and this is my account balance. So now I want to store this value to the Merkle Patricia tree in a Ethereum blockchain. So let's see how this is being stored there. So if you just see from top, so the very first thing you will have a block header and in a block header you will have a state root. So in the next video we will cover that how the blockchain, how the block structure look like in a Ethereum blockchain because when, when you talk about a block in Ethereum, that block will have a block header and under block header you will see three uh, trees basically and one of the tree is known as a state root, a state tree. So that state tree uh, stored the state value which is in the key value pair. So whenever we talk about Merkle Patricia tree here, so this is uh, here, this is example here. So you will always have a state root. So state root is nothing, just a hash of your root node. Okay, as we have talked about in the Merkle tree, whatever is your root node hash, that node, that is known as a Merkle root. So same thing here, whatever is your root node here in this tree, whenever you hash that value, right, that will be become your state root. Okay, and the hash function which is being used in Ethereum is this one, KECCAK256. Okay. So this is how the hash will be shown in the block header that will be known as the state root. Now, the all the things start from here. So this is your tree. So the very first thing which you see, the very first node here is the extension node. This which is the root node also. So this will have a zero prefix. Prefix is zero. I will explain to you in a while what that zero mean here. Now if you just see here the keys, what common value we have, we already covered in the Patricia tree. 
so we'll combine the common values together so that we don't have any empty node right so if you just see here on these four keys the common value is a7 right so what we did what what we have done here so we have combined these two values so my shared nibble is a7 right because this is common for all the keys then my extension node will uh, refer to a one branch node if you just see it here so this is referring to a branch node now this branch node will have a reference this will contain the keys and the value here now you can see here it contain from 0 till f first it goes from 0 to 9 then it goes till f and then the actual value will be stored here now if you see here after a7 for the first key I have 1 and for second key I have 7 for third I have f and fourth I have 7 now if you see branch node will have this value from 0 to 9 right and then till f so here what, what you do here your one value in the branch node you will have uh, this small boxes so one when we say one it is being referring to a leaf node right so first of all we come to root node then we go to branch node then we come to one okay this one is being referred in the first key so then ultimately it will refer to a leaf node so then this is a unique combination that like one three five five so we combine these keys here and that will store your 45 value so now in reality if you want to check that what is my account balance you will have your this key with you you will pass this key first of all it will go to the extension node a7 then it will check the first value it will go here the branch node it will go to this one value the one is referring to which leaf node and it will get the value from here so same way for uh, next one for seven you can see the seven has two keys now this second and the fourth one so that has been combined here and that goes to extension node if you just see it here right so now after seven also you have this common value d3 right so that is being stored here in the shared nibble then it will have a branch node which will have three and nine as per that keys here there is a three value here nine value here and then it is being referred to a leaf node if you just see it here so same thing happening with the here so if you just see here this is how the information is being stored so this information every information which is being stored it is hashed with the help of with the concept of Merkle tree and this search become very easy with the help of Patricia tree so this is a combination of Merkle and Patricia tree now this prefixes which you are using this is mentioned here whenever extension node will have a zero prefix that means it has even number of nibbles it will have two right when its value is one that means it will have odd value like one two three three character basically if you just simply say three character and when in the leaf node if you have prefix two that means this is the even number you have four character here here you have four characters here you have one character that means this is a third three three means odd nibbles so this is how you can easily distinguish okay so that that node is your uh, uh, extension node or this is your leaf node so this is how Merkle Patricia tree look like in Ethereum and we will talk about more like how this is being used to store your information in a block going forward in the next video but this will give you at least overall idea that what is Merkle Patricia tree in Ethereum and how it is being used to store your information thanks for watching